Hi, this is Garrett Reeves. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do a ghost feeble or a tire feeble, whatever you want to call it. And we're on RideBMX.com. The first person I actually saw do this trick was uh, a guy named Eric Whips Carver. He's from the East Coast and people call him E-Whip. I saw him do it at a skate park after the OSS premiere in Brooklyn. And I, I hadn't seen anyone really do it the way he did before that. I know some people did it maybe before him, like Eric's been doing it for a while, Eric L. Uh, Steven Hamilton did sort of different tire feeble variations, but I don't know if he ever did like really long ones, but he probably did. I probably just don't remember. I'd say go at it like a feeble, go parallel to the ledge, bunny hop, place your front tire on the ledge and you're, that's the weird part because you're going to want to put pretty much as much pressure as you possibly can on your front wheel and the more pressure you have on your front wheel the easier your back tire is just going to glide along the ledge and basically I'd say the, fir the first thing you should try it on is something low because in a weird way it's harder on really low things like a, like a sort of like a slippery painted curb would be a good thing to try it on because you can just lift up your front tire and sort of set it on the ledge and then lift up your back tire and sort of you'll, you'll feel it sliding and you'll get the idea of the trick. Once you mess around on it with like a small ledge or something and you think you have the idea, maybe go to a skate park, find a good like foot and a half, foot tall ledge and basically just give it a go. Jump, bunny hop, put most of your tire, tire pressure on the front and uh, I don't know, like you can steer it almost with your front, with your handlebars. You can kind of set your handlebars like on the ledge and point your front tire so you're, so it's aimed forward. That can help a lot. Um, I don't know if really anyone else does that, but I kind of do that. I'd say for sure when you first start trying the trick on something that's tall enough where you could actually fall, I'd recommend just trying to keep your feet on because it's kind of asking to like sprain an ankle or tear an ACL when you're sliding sideways and it's sort of natural to take your feet off but I'd say just keep your feet on that's my advice yeah I don't know there's a lot of things you can do out of it you can do it switch pretty easily it's not too much harder to learn and you can spin out of them too I don't do it a lot but I know Eric L spins out of them pretty regularly to summarize I'd say the most important thing is just keep your pressure on that front tire and it's just gonna glide, the back tire will just go. So thanks a lot for listening and take it easy.